Hi, welcome back. So, we're going to use uh, mongoose pagination uh, to make the backend work. But, to do that, it seems that I require Node.js to be at least version 4.2. So I've updated Node.js on my machine so that Node is actually, not only Node, but also NPM has actually been updated so I can download, uh, so, so that I cover this version so that I can actually use this plugin that the guy built. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how you can update your versions of Node as well. Let me just start up by showing you how you can actually figure out what version you have. And this is of course uh, something that you can read a lot about out there. I just want to show you so that you know for future uh, references. So I right now I have version 5.10 so I'm all good. I don't have to upgrade mine. If I wanted to I was going to use and I have used actually something called NVM. Not NPM, NVM. It's actually a library that you can download with npm. So let me just try and do it. Um, it's actually a library that can help you figure out what version of Node you're using, but it can actually update your version of Node with a single command. Very, very basic. Let me just write nvm here just to show you the different commands you can do, and then you can play around with it yourself. What we want to do is we want to install a new version of Node. And since I'm on version 5, let's just check out what else is out there right now. There's another version called 442, which is a more stable version. And let's just check the version 442. Is that higher than the one he says here? Yeah, he says 42. So that's plenty for me to use. So I'm just going to, to show you how we will install that. You're going to take version 4.4.2. And um, I'm going to say, very simple, nvm install. It says it right here. Uh, version 4.4.2 enter now it'll start by downloading that version and then it'll actually switch to that version so from now on I'm actually using version 4.4.2 node and just to prove it I'll just let you see that I've actually changed the version now okay what if I wanted to change it back again to the other one then I'll just write nvm use and then the version that I want to use. And in my case, it would be 5.10.1. Because that was where I was at before. 5.10.1. Boink. And now I'm using Node 5.10.1. So it's very, very simple for me to switch versions of Node. And we're going to do kind of the same thing on OpenShift later. So this is just for your local environment. So you can start working. If you do this and then upload it to your OpenShift account, it will fail. I'll make a video later to explain that part. But just remember, this is for a local environment that we do set this up now. So we have a version that's at least higher than what he recommends here, saying 4.2. Or your code will break in a second. That's all for this video. See you next time.